Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Welcome, we are drafting Innistrad flashback drafts. Um, Arrera is back from the brink, which is good. Oh, also Mole sniping our Q. Look, right there. In fact, Molly is passing to... Oh, no, I am passing to Molly. Yes, I am passing to Molly. You're starting with Grasp here always. Um, Grasp of Phantoms. Yeah, that card is pretty good. Is Back from the Brink good enough, Luis? Because I, I have seen some decks that are good with Back from the Brink, but I haven't played with this rare that much. So... It's a community chat draft day, but just joining the normal queue. Apparently, <laughs> community day is everybody just joining the queue because they're so slow to fire. Yes, the Molly Buck from Twitch. All right, I'm going to take the grasp of Phantasmas. Back from the Brink isn't very good. I've seen some decks use it, Luis, but it, it's like the typical, I think, rare that if you played the format, you would have had a lot of chances to try it, and you're like, yeah, that was not worth it. And I couldn't really, I don't really know because I don't have that much experience with this format. Oh, yeah, Penguin. This is some real draft cabal strategies. Anyway, it's so good to see everybody. I'm happy to hear that that y'all have a good weekend. Draven Doges. So I like Deadweight is pretty good. Um, Sulfur Falls could be Ds. I think I like Deadweight the best here. You like Deadweight? Yeah, I do too, Luis. This seems like just really good removal. Plus it kills a lot of werewolves before they flip. And it's like... A cheap removal spell that you can use before the werewolves transform at which point you can't really like kill them anymore so don't mind getting two removal spells essentially for our first two picks breakfast pm twitch table story the name is leech it spells like lacy oh that's cool oh chat we're playing mm. okay 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 i can tell this to stream but i can't tell it to my DD party so i need no snitches okay Seriously, don't snitch. Ready? <laughs> so in the last part of our D&D campaign, um, me and this other person... Oh, wow. Stromkirk Noble is really strong. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. It's true. It's true, Shadow. This is a good pack. I'm actually like pretty tempted by the Stromkirk Noble. I, I guess we could take Fiend Hunter too. It's pretty good. And we have to abandon something else. You might Fiend Hunter because it's the best card. It could take Stitch Drake. I think I'd down to take Fiend Hunter and then ditch one of these two if we have to. You would have Noble. You didn't like Red Aggro too much. I don't have very much experience with Red Aggro. I think I'll take Fiend Hunter and see where we go from here. All right. So my character in the D&D campaign, whose alignment was originally Chaotic Neutral. Uh, well, the party runs into this like evil altar. Um, at the boss's lair, like the final boss's lair. And uh, so as we're like inspecting this thing, I'm like, so should we destroy this thing afterward? And the party's like, after what, Gabby? What does that even mean? I'm like, uh, I, meant, I thought we were sacrificing a soul to the altar. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? It's an evil altar. You can't sacrifice souls to it. But we actually had a soul of this like other wizard around. And, um, and uh, everybody decided to just look away and go do something else. Well, me and this other person, this other character in the party, Josh McLean, we sacrifice that evil soul at the altar. Yes, exactly. So now we've made a demonic pact. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm supposed to tell the party whether or not, like, what the deal with a demonic pact is, you know? What are we doing here? The white cards are not good. Oh, we have forbidden alchemy. All right, so I think what we're going to ditch is probably deadweight if we end up being, like, blue-white gonna be blue white espiritus yes also by the way that changed my alignment as it turns out sacrificing a soul at the evil altar changes your alignment i can't really complain about it at all i like geist catcher's rig i like village bell ringer is interesting but i don't even know if it like works with anything we have here i feel like this card's just good i learned this card is not an option by the way you like rig a name for ub control yeah, I could see that, Louise. There's a chance I end up being Uwu, right? Like, I think the best card here might be Thraben Sentry. Over Cannibals, over Night Terrors. Um, there's a chance you end up Esper or end up Blue White. Yeah, I think this is just save Thraben Sentry and see if we can find a way to... Maybe if we have, like, Lingering Souls or something like that, that's, like, a really easy way to have a spirit killed and then Draven Sentry can flip or whatever. You like Scarecrow? 
The sentry is fine. I like sentry a little bit more, Louise. Let me just take the sentry. I haven't been super impressed with Scarecrow. Well, rig is a May. You just have to target. And I didn't know that. I'm going to take Forbidden Alchemy again. I guess with a second Forbidden Alchemy, I'm way less likely to be ooh woo. Now I'm regretted not taking the Scarecrow. Uh, I guess I could take the Carbs. Yo, Percy! Welcome, welcome. Spectral Flight is good, but I just think it, it doesn't go in the stack. And Rotting Fern Sneak is not good, so I don't really want that. And I don't want the Pitchfork. Yeah, let's just take the Crab. Rally the Plebes and another Crab and a bunch of other nonsense. That's true. Snake just gets blocked by crab and can't even do anything about it. Kind of embarrassing. Oh my gosh, I used to love the Nephalia Drownyard Dogs fell though. Alright, I'll take another Fortress Crab, I suppose. Well, there's really not that much going on in these packs. I'll take another Thraven Sentry, but put it in the sideboard and not play it. Alright, so I could take Intangible Virtue and then if we end up being some like... Because it does it not look like black is open at all. like purify the gray for the sideboard these are all awful it's true darzog this is true okay so the bad news is that black doesn't seem open i guess the good news is we can figure out what we want to be in pack two yeah and if see weird how well 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 if it isn't the consequences of my actions so i'm trying to figure out if we're supposed to tell the rest of the party what this demonic pact was I kind of don't want to tell them. And I want to ask Josh McLean if he thinks we shouldn't tell them. What was the pact? So I don't know what the downsides are, which is a big if. <laughs> um, oh, look at that. Victim of the Night. That's a pretty good card. Invisible Stalker, huh? Yeah, I was kind of looking at the Invisible Stalker too, Louise. Try to mize and see if we get some Butcher's Cleaver. Township is, is rough to see. That that card is unbeatable, I think, in limited. With double alchemy, it's not crazy. Yeah, it yeah, we could try to mize. I'm in for that. Yes, the no picture invisible stalker is very on brand. Alright, I'm gonna take invisible stalker and keep punting on the decision about what we want to play. Well, curiosity's pretty good to put in an invisible stalker. That is for goddamn sure. Yeah, GG's. Falkareth Noble, Claustrophobia, Spectral Flight. Okay, so these enchantments are starting to look a little bit better. I kind of like Claustrophobia the best. I'd say Demonic Pact is a very personal thing and others should not be invasive about them. True. So, okay. I can tell you guys what the Demonic Pact was, but seriously, don't, don't tell the rest of my party members. Um... You'd claustrophobia, wheel flighting bad. Yeah, I hope so. I, the other flight wheeled, so I would be surprised if it didn't wheel. Ah, oh, Snackerino. This pack is miserable. There is nothing for us here. Actually, does that make Gabby and Tilly end up with her own demonic pact and everything? The thing is, I really don't know what the downsides are. I know they're going to come back and get me at some point. I already paid the cost that we sacrificed the soul. Second rig. I think I'd rather have a deranged assistant at that point since we do have these um, forbidden alchemies that we can bin into the yard. So I think at that point I'd rather have a deranged assistant over the second one. <gasps> Holy moly. Curse of Death's Hold is very good. This card is really, really good. Okay, so bye-bye all of you. It's kind of what I was waiting for. Oh, all right. Oh, no. There's another invisible stalker. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's just take a second curse. If you play a second curse of death hold, your opponent just can't win. They just can't win. Yeah, I don't need the stalker BS. <laughs> no with curse of death hold. All right. We are firmly blue black control, basically. Have I figured out how to beat spider spawning? Oh yeah, the first curse of death hole fixes that up right, right up for you. 
Makeshift Mauler has initial cost to cast a spell exile a creature card from your graveyard. So I did pick up a deranged assistant, which does a mill. Um, is Curse better or worse than Revenge of Radiance? I believe Curse is better. What does the Bitterheart Witch do, Grey Gunnum? I don't remember. Your record is three Curse of Death's Hold, but that wasn't constricted. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna take another Deranged Assistant. No, Makeshift Mauler's okay. Eh, yeah, nah, the Assistant's better. Disciple of Grizzlebrand. Sack a creature, you gain life equal to the sacrificed creature's toughness. Rune of Repetition. Return target exiled card with flashback to... You own to your hand. I could see us wanting that. Yeah, Luis, I was thinking that we might want, ha want access to this effect. I don't know if we're going to play it. What does Curse of Oblivion do? At the beginning of Enchanted Player's Upkeep, that player exiles two cards from their graveyard. I don't think I need that. When the witch dies, you tutor a curse and attach it to a player. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, that's like super up my alley. You love to see it. I don't want the Halberg. That sounds awful. Uh, yeah, I could see it for the sideboard time twister. I like that option. I don't think I want it in my main deck, though. I don't think I want Mothermeyer. I guess if we're playing somebody who has like an Ephalia Drown Yard or like a Kazakh Wolf friend that's killing us, we could want this. Could Bell. Bell would put me in a weird spot, Luis, where I think I definitely have to play the runic repetition and try to not, and like memory's journey to not mill. This deck is like a two dream twist away from being mill. Like this deck wants to curse. Curse of the bloody tome. So I can, oh no, I, I stalled too long. All right, I'll think I'll take spectral flight here. I really didn't want to draft Bell anyway, so it might be okay. I don't want Markov Patrician. I don't think I want this. I don't want Bump in the Night. These are all terrible. Hey, Dekamoy! Welcome, welcome. I don't want any of these. I guess I can put this here. I don't want a Brain Weevil. Okay, we need to find some playable black cards. 301 is fine. Isn't it just 3-1 lifelink? That's it. Seems bad to me. Skurzdag High Priest. That card is... That card is... Ooh! Ooh, ooh, we have some options here. Yeah, the, the Weevil's okay. I mean, we can take it out here. Hello, friends. Hey, Dokumoy. Welcome. Look at our cool deck. This is a pretty nice deck. I'd priest probably you can assemble some feasters. Yeah, I think so, too. Are you not interested in the Curse of the Bloody Tome at all? I kind of feel like Priest has higher upside, but... Curse Wheels probably. Yeah, that's true. You're right about that. I love Think Twice. I wouldn't mind getting a little Think Twice. There's my win condition. Yeah, this 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 can definitely do it. So it needs to be Morbid and two untapped creatures you control. Plus a tap ability, so it's three. We have the Weevil. The Weevil is... I mean, the Weevil can do some work, I guess. I've never played this form, but the Priest is a bomb, right? I don't know if it's a bomb, but it's certainly good. Oh, I have double fortress crab. If I if I'm stacking some stuff, the scourge like high priest is gonna be able to do some good stuff anyway. I think grasp of phantoms is looking good, especially with my deranged assistance. You're talking about the milling curse, but I guess this is fine as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I want the milling curse. I I'll get it on the wheel. Stitcher's apprentice also turns on morbid. Uh, oh yeah, that it does. You're right. Maybe we can pick up a Stitcher's Apprentice. Get, yeah, having like some sort of a sack outlet I think would be good. Other spirits get plus one plus oh. Counter target spell, return target permanent to its owner's hand. No. I don't want sensory deprivation. I think I like Battleground Geist the best. Yeah, look at our deck, DC. We need to pick up a couple feasters, but we are doing okay. Yeah, I like the Geist too. Let's see what else. Ooh, Victim of the Night, huh? That looks like a pretty good removal spell. It's unfortunate that it's black, black. My mana's not the best. I just passed the Stitcher's Apprentice. Yeah, it was like three packs ago, though, Halen. If your opponent has zero creatures, pretty much anything can be a win con. True. This is true. 
Also, the guys catcher's rig can do something. This can trigger morbid also. There's the Stitcher's Apprentice. Create a blue homunculus creature token, then sack a creature. This looks pretty... Oh! The armored scub also looks kind of interesting because it mills stuff, so it can mill, like, forbidden alchemies or anything like that. I kind of think maybe we should just do that since we have the high priest. You'd apprentice to have a lot of self mill. True. Yeah, let's just take Stitcher's Apprentice. You're right. Let's do it. I don't think I want more than one, though. Hey, we get a shot at the one eyed scarecrow again. I don't think I want anything else. Luis, how am I going to make sure I don't die? I feel like I'm going to deck myself every time. Ooh, that's how. With stuff like Screechy Bet. Lantern Spirit. Return Lantern Spirit to its owner's hand. That's pretty resilient threat. I like that basically it doesn't die. Open Memories Journey. I, I hope. This is the third booster, unfortunately. That Interloper is not bad. I think I'll take the Lantern Espiritu. I think it's better than the Screechy Bet. Mmm... I don't want any of these, but I guess I'll take a ghost quarter for the sideboard. Oh, there's the curse. Came back. I like the curse. I think the curse is a way that we can kill them. It's a little it's a little sketchy because you are milling them. Oh, hello. Alright. Let me get rid of the deranged ghoul. It's true, because this puts it on top of your deck, right? It's on top of owner's library. That's funny. Put this in the side. Put this also in the side. I like this deck. Lantern Control is your favorite modern deck. That's cool, Carrot Boy. Yo, Cal, it's good to see you. Welcome. I don't think they have, um, Ryan. I'll take another bell for the sideboard. Yeah, rest in peace, Mox Opal. You had a pretty good run. Uh, this is draft. Best of three. Yeah, I like this deck. So, I wish we would have found a, like, a drowned catacomb or something to fix. But, what do we not... I assumed your deck sucks. Molly, I want to see it. What did you end up with? I waffled a lot on what I, where I wanted to end up. But look, Molly! Look! Look at the Curse of Death's Hole, baby! I've got two of them. Yeah, Molly was in this pod. Molly helped us fire the pod. It took us 10 minutes to fire the pod. Oh my god, Molly. <laughs> Do I want to see your deck? I, I changed my mind. My question is different. Um. So we have... Honestly, I feel like... The Invisible Stalker nonsense is just kind of not where I want to be at. We, we we have drafted a blue control deck. Blue-black control deck. I don't think we got there in Runic Repetition, sadly. We would have wanted Memory's Journey. So I think if we take Runic Repetition, Curiosity, and potentially like the Spectral Flight out, then we also don't really want the Invisible Stalker. Um, so that's 22... How do we guarantee that we don't deck ourselves? Because everything else looks pretty decent. What does uh, Trepanation Blade do? I could see Diagraph Ghoul. Like, it's not great, but it's a 2 Like, it's a 2 2. Can trade with stuff. I don't think we want Curse of Oblivion. I don't think we want Runic Repetition. I don't think we want Stalker. I don't think we want Curiosity. By cutting deranged assistance. No, no, no. The deranged assistance are good. Remember, we have Curse of the Bloody Tome, so we're probably going to deck them faster. Let me see, Molly. Is it a disaster? Should I even see this, Molly? Is this going to be Monka TOS? Oh, man. This is not where you... No. I mean... Double Moon Mist, huh? Double Moon Mist? You're excited about Blasphemous Act plus Full Moon's Rise combo. I mean, it... 
Like, this deck can definitely win. Right? Yo, Gurmag Pineapple! Thank you so much for the five months. Thank you, thank you. Diagraph Cool's getting back in. And I need one more spell. I need just one more thing. I guess I could play more lands just so that I always... Because I'm trying to hit to that Curse of Death's Hold. Like, maybe I cut the Ghoul Caller's Bell and then just run... Like that. Yeah, totally, Molly. Also, when you're like, Moon Mist, we did it, fam. <laughs> oh, that's really cool, Felda. I, um, I've been enjoying looking at the spoilers for Commander's Legends. It looks like a pretty cool set. You don't really mind the repetition with four targets. We just have the Forbidden Alchemies, basically, and the Grasp of Phant Phantoms, which are both really expensive to cast. Like, the flashback on Phantoms is eight. Which is, I think, makes that uh, runic repetition look pretty mediocre. I think I'd rather just run a land. Are we a mill deck? Yeah, but we're also a double death... Curse of Death's Hold decks, also a Skurzag High Priest deck. So we have a lot of ways that we can that our games might go. Yeah, it's hella slow. I don't think we can do this. I do like our deck though. I wish we would have ended up with like three more playables in our colors. Like as it is, we just or a Memories Journey or something like that. But unfortunately, we didn't end up with that. Yeah, BK, we, we started out with uh, Invisible Stalker and, like, that package. So we had, like, Curiosity, Spectre of Flight, Trepanation Blade. But those are some of the... I'm, like, one win condition short, but this deck's still awesome. Yeah, I think this deck is pretty good, Luis. I feel like we just um, fell a little short when it was time to get all the playables we needed. That is unfortunate. You passed the Cleaver Impact too, but it clearly didn't get to me. Yeah, I didn't. So I guess maybe like... Uh, oh, in pack two, it was all the way around. So yeah, I would have had to go through a bunch of people. I think I'm going to keep this. and Because we have the dead weight. And just... And then I can get the, the... If I get the Curse of Death's Hold going, I, I'll be okay. I just need to get a blue source. I'm playing 18 lands, so we have a pretty good chance. I thought we were next to each other, Molly. But I may I, I, I may be for or misremembering. I thought we I think you were passing to me, right? Impacts one and three. Oh, I passed to you impacts one and three. I'm confused. You're right. That's funny, unknown. That's pretty sweet. I don't even really care about that. Oh, I do like that. This is just not the axis that we're playing on, so we can just play a Deranged Assistant. Also, if we just keep making land drops, Curse of Death's Hold just takes care of this thing, too. Yeah, agreed with that, Wilcox. Totes agreed. Eee, the art of this is really, like, disturbing. <laughs> I don't like it. This card is really cool. Remember the first time I, I saw this card, I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, everything for Innistrad is so good, zombie. Like the theming, the art, the set, everything is just really good. Can never look too long at sensory deprivation. Oh, is that the one that has the eyes like sewn shut? Ooh, Ghoul Colors Bell, eh? Let me mill the Scarecrow. Alrighty, we got a Fortress Crabbers. Don't really care about that, uh, Typhoid Rods very much. If we get one land, oh, so. Oh no, that was gonna be our land for Curse of Death's Hold! Counter target spell return target permanent to its owner's hand. So I think we're playing a blue black control and mirror. We have not spider spawned yet, six foot. We we haven't even come close to getting spider spawning. I think people are forcing it. 
I do not want to block that. Swords to plowshares equals sensory deprivation, lol. Oh, shame. I don't especially want to bounce their typhoid rats because there's no real reason. We can't play Curse of Death's Hold and we can't play Battleground Geist and I don't really want to deadweight the rat. Uh, Forbidden Alchemy would the, be the only thing that we could bin? So, I guess instead of, like, casting anything, we're just gonna attack. Seems like I should just use my mana, though, you think? And just get the Grasp of Phantoms in the yard? Just attack with a Fortress Crab? Hey, Jules. I hear you down there, doggers. You'd grasp the rat. Yeah, it's true. Let me just attack with a fortress crab. It's true that I'm not casting the grass for like a million turns. Might as well. Oh. Wait. They wanted to draw the rat? That's really weird. They keep passing with this much mana. Oh! Oh my god, please let me draw! Why couldn't I draw a land? Tilt. It seems like they want the rat. I could just, honestly, I could just grasp it again. <laughs> I think maybe I should just, like, play the ghoul and pass. I don't want to bother deadweighting any of these things. Is it a man or is it a skeleton? There's no way of knowing. All right, we can't attack. We just need to draw land. Swamp? Oh, they also had a Curse of the Bloody Tome. What do you know? They love the rat. I guess they don't know that we're also just a control deck, so maybe they think that the Typhoid Rats is better than it actually is. It's not very good. Okay, so they have Think Twice on Flashback. This mana also means that they don't have, like, Dissipate up, which is good. I know, they've milled us for so many lands. Come on. Come on, dealer. Just one land. Ah! No justice is right. Let me attack with Diagraph Ghoul. Could be Frightful Delusion. I don't even know what that card does. Let me look. Frightful Delusion. Counter target spell and says control paste one. That player discards a card. Yeah, that would be bad. I'm just going to cast Lantern Spirit. I'm not going to mill. It's not worth. Sure. Oh my god! We're playing the same deck, by the way. There's our Curse of Death's Hold. And look, another swamp for us in the yard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. They flash the back. We're currently still down on the race of cards. Come on, can I please just get... Ugh, they're going to pass with all their mana, aren't they? Yeah, we might have to end up grasping our own stuff. Agreed. Interesting. Let me play... I guess I don't actually have to do that. I could just attack with Diagraph Ghoul and Lantern Spirit before actually committing to doing anything here. Let me do that. Because it kind of feels like they're just passing with mono counters, right? Sure. Maybe we should just play Spirit. Oh, 
I'm not sure. I have no idea. Super cavitation. That's cool though. Playing among us and they wouldn't stop talking about Roblox. That's funny, D Dog. You like it? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna play. Oh my god, I mailed another land. Horrible. Time for a battleground, guys. That does mean that we got in for like one one less point of damage, but we'll see. Combos! I can do that. Jules! They had a Markov Patrician. I would have liked if they played that. Jules! Come here, puppy. Hey, puppy dog. Hey, kitty pie. Sit. Shake. Good girl, up high. Oh, what a good girl. Claustrophobia. Land, land, land. Actually, I'm fine without land. I guess if they have... Let me play this just in case they have the spooky one. Let me curse them. Uh, yeah. I'm been the weevil. Because then I have this to pay for that. Ho oh, ho, got him. All right. Let's do this. And then we can even play for the lantern spirit. The Espiritu. Boop. <gasps> All the snacks. Six foot. I can. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, so that flashbacks for two. So they're on the full mill plan, huh? Including Curse of the Bloody Tome. There's my Forbidden Alchemy. Let me give her... Let's give her a dentist sticks. She likes these. They're good for her teeth, too. Jules, come back. Hello. Hi, right, good dog. Shake. Good girl. Up high. Good girl. Yeah, we're down at 10 cards. And they have a ghoul color spell. It's not good for us. That is bad. We milled our Curse of the Bloody Tome. So we're hitting for 1, 2, 3, 4. Plus we're playing the Spirit, which we can bounce. So, I mean, we should be able to. Why wouldn't they try to get the ghoul with a weight? I think they should, Cal. I, I didn't like that play by them. So let's go, let me play my swamp. One, two, three. Okay. They should be dead next turn. I mean, I guess it depends on what they have, right? Yeah, they might have a counter there. I'm not sure. They might be trying to get more information and see what's up with my deck. There's a bunch of things that could be going on here. I believe this matchup is going to be really hard. I think we got pretty lucky that they, yeah. They both binned their Curse of Death's Hold, their Curse of the Bloody Tome, and they couldn't beat me in time, but I don't think it's always going to be like that. And unfortunately... Stalker time? I mean, they have Curse of Death's Hold too. I guess Spectral Flight works really well, but... Because, like, honestly, these Forbidden Alchemies look terrible yeah so if we take out the forbidden alchemies and did they even have a flyer yeah scarecrow looked like it didn't do anything so if we bring in invisible stalker curiosity spectral flight oh curiosity is sketchy trepanation blade yes yep 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 yep, yep. no but let's get rid of curiosity Weevil's fine. I guess it's really bad if they go curse. Like, we're just going to play Weevil and sack it, right? Like, we would never let it stick around where they could just curse a dust hold and kill it. So I think this is fine. Hey, Fuzzy Wuzzy, I'm doing well. Corpse Lunge. I have very little things to throw. Yeah. 
I don't I don't think this like really does anything in her. It's four mana mine rot basically. It just doesn't do anything in her deck, sadly. The only issue is if I draw Weevil after they draw Curse. True, but like what else can we bring in, you know? Uh this doesn't help. This doesn't help. This doesn't help. The bells don't help. The scarecrow doesn't help. The forbidden alchemy definitely do not help. So yeah, I think we just Curse of Oblivion, but that doesn't do that much. Just makes them discard cards from their graveyard. And there was, we never saw anything in their yard that cared about, like, they had Dream Twist. Dream Twist is the only thing we saw that actually matters. I think my sideboarding is done here, unfortunately. Spooky Innistrad! Thank you, Fuzzy, for the nine months. Spooky Innistrad. Stream, baby. I will keep this one. What can kill Stalker? Uh, Curse of Death's Hole, and that's basically it. If we put a Spectral Flight on it, it's fine. Hope you are having a great Memphis! A great Halloween. I had an awesome Halloween. Thank you for asking. I have been just having a lovely day. Thanks for, thanks for checking in. How was your Halloween weekend? Is the bot bugged? What does it say? It doesn't look bug to me. Walking corpse. Oh, I wonder if they try to... I wonder if they try to put themselves on a more... Um, aggressive build. Our fortress crab should be able to stop this, though. It says ambush viper, but just subscribed? Really? I'm saying ambush viper, but just tier one. Oh, you're right. It is ignoring the person's name. Yeah, you're right about that. Weird. I'll take a look at it. Think twice plus land. Sure, I accept. Ah, uh, we do. Do we want to deadweight that thing? Probably not. We're about to play a fortress crab. They probably cited out their X ones because they saw Curse of Death's hold from us. Yes. How good is blue in this format? Pretty decent. Um, I don't know if we want to deadweight that thing. I don't think we do. I'm just going to attack. Like, if they kill my Fortress Crab, then we can deadweight the thing. But I feel like right now it's just, like, a waste to use deadweight on that. Especially when they could have flyers or something. They did have Frightful Delusion. Counter target spell on this is controller pace one. That player discards a card. So I can't pay for that. I have to discard something for it. Mm. Yeah, my crab. So I do have frightful delusion. Um, no, it's not at a line, Mephis. I celebrate Day of the Dead when I was in Ecuador, but it's not like the Mexican Day of the Dead. It's like a totally different tradition, and I celebrate Halloween here. So I guess I kind of celebrate both. Mr. Metronome, welcome, friend. No, I, the guy Strig is staying with me. I think I'm bending the dead weight. Shame concede here? No, no, never phantom. <laughs> I did mean to attack with a Stitcher's Apprentice, though. People actually legitimately shame concede too much. I, I think that's not really a thing. That, that, too, that too, looter. That's the other piece of it. But people generally, like, shame concede. I don't think it makes any sense. Does the discard effect still occur if the one is paid? I assume so, because of the way it's templated. Look. Counter target spell unless it's controller pays one is like the first part of it. That player discards a card. It seems like it's not contingent on you paying the one. Is how I would read that. Yes, I believe the opponent is no longer playing Manor Skeleton. I would be very surprised if they were. Oh. 
Hi, sorry, I just saw this. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mr. Metronom, how was your weekend? I hope you had a good one. Hey, Kilo Diego! Welcome, welcome. Are they playing man or skeleton or both? I think both, Louise, but it, jury's still out on whether it's a man or a skeleton. Like in Queen's Gambit, if you lose your queen in such a fashion, you must resign, but also this was not your queen. Exactly. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good for us. That is not good. Oh, is it time for Invisible Stalker? They... They're missing land drops, aren't they? They are missing land drops. We could just grasp a phantoms, their walking corpse. Because we can still get the spectral flight or whatever. And because they're missing land drops, we can just kind of lock them into just making the walking corpse play and it's not even very good. And then we can maybe get the Geist, catcher rigs, the Geist Catcher's rig going. So I'm just going to grasp that thing and then also get in there with him. Yeah, we have to, Percy. If they played Curse, we don't... Like, even if we get our own Curse, we're going to be way behind. So the next play is either drawing a land to play Guy's Catcher's Rig. Okay, so they flashback thing twice, and if they break on land, they don't get to play the zombie. They may have bricked on land. They have double thing twice in the yard. Oh, they bricked on land. Holy moly. Come on, land. Yeah, of course we've been double land to that. Um, let's go drange assistant. Let's go invisible stalker. We're almost certainly gonna sack the drange assistant to the Stitcher's apprentice, but I think for now we can just attack. Having flashbacks to losing OT, Invisible Stalker. Yes, the you're thinking about Butcher's Cleaver, just Jake. All right, they hit Swamp. Now I hope they don't have their Curse of Death hold next turn. That would be really bad for us. Unfortunate. Oh my god, they have two of those. Yeah, I... Seems like we can't win this match. I guess we're going to have to get very lucky with a guy's catcher's rig. Anything in the yard worth anything. Lantern, the grasp of phantoms, nothing. I bet every creature of mine is about to die here. Next turn, that's what I suspect. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Still only have a grasp of phantoms. <laughs> Are we really desperate enough to start flashing back this thing and put the walking corpse on top with when we have 13 guards in the yard? Maybe we just attack with invisible stalker. That seems really bad. Yes? Are we that desperate? I just feel like we'd have to tap them deranged assistant anyway and it mills us, so that doesn't seem very good. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. There's another Curse of Death's Hold. We got a Curse of the Bloody Tome. We might have to, we might be in the territory of uh, claustrophobia-ing this thing. We're at eight cards, so let's just do the thing. Sweet five months, yo, thank you so much. Who was it? Stilson, okay, they're f thinking twice, that's fine. Thank you so much for the famous Stingray, it's good to see you. And it's been a while, let me curse them. Maybe we'll get some more information about what's going on with their deck. 
it's basically impossible to win. I want to see what their hand is, Time Twister, and I think when it comes back to mine, I might scoop. Let's see what they mill. Island Swamp. We can't win on my turn. We And we're going to mill 2, 4, plus 5. So we only get one more turn. And they just played a crab. Okay. We're done. So what are Innistrad's archetypes in the draft? Pfft, there's a bunch, uh, Mephis. This is one of the better, like, build around me formats. So there's a ton of, like, there's a ton of archetypes. There's... I think it might be best if you, like, just check out an article to see what's everything in it. Because there are some pretty... Oh, hello, Jules. What's going on? There's some pretty dedicated, like, formats or build-around decks. What's my favorite? Um... The Burning Vengeance deck, the Burning Vengeance deck is really good. Spider Spawning is really fun. Um, the Green White like Travel Prep decks are pretty fun. Yeah, how many archetypes do you want in a Yes, <laughs> that's exactly it. All right, we can't really we can't really change our deck anymore. So. Did we get the spider spawn dream? We didn't. Everybody forces the spider spawning deck, so we, we've never even come close to seeing it open. All right. We can work with this. I like travel prep a lot, Darius. That deck is really fun. It's just a well-oiled machine, you know? Gonna be hard to trigger Skur's Dag High Priest against this opponent. Get a sworn for you, I'll try. Hey, how are you doing, Cryptid? How are you doing? I think I'd rather run out the Apprentice first. Are you serious, Gregorum? That's disrespectful. Yo, Cryptic Architect, I'll thank you for the two months. months. I appreciate that. Ooh, Manor Skeleton, huh? They do have Victim of the Night, so I think I'd rather play Skurs Dag High Priest before we start committing to anything else. So let me attack with Stitcher's Apprentice. They can't block. Play this. Swamp and these two. Nice! I'm glad you're here, Cryptid. Hope you had a good weekend. Markov Patrician. Okay. I would like to grasp that thing if we can. Land. Nice. Mm. I had a good Halloween wolf. Sorry, thanks for asking. How was yours? Let's just bounce it back for now. Yeah, we just need one more. One of us, please. Oh, yeah, we should absolutely be attacking. For reals, Mr. Metronome. For reals. All right, so we've been to Deranged Assistant, an island, and a victim of night. Sure. All right, come on, come on. Land, 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 land! Amazing! Curse of Death's Hold, baby. You love to see it. Uh, this is two untapped creatures plus itself, right? Yeah, we don't have enough to actually get a demon, but that's fine. Alright, that was really good. Now we need them to not have their own Curse of Death hold, because then we're in trouble. Because then they play Curse of the Bloody Tome and then we die. That's funny, Wolf's Ark. Oh my gosh, Mephis, that was a... That was a train wreck, my god. Really? I mean... Yeah. 
Yeah, it kind of looks to me like it's something like Lost in the Mist too, right? Let me just double check that real quick. Counter target spell, return target permanent to its owner's hand. Yeah, I like that, Luis. I, let's just start attacking with Screws Dag. We saw Lost in the Mist um, in previous games too. I know, Janus, the news are terrible. The news are awful. You hate to see it. All right, they're not doing anything. I'm not going to play into this. I'm just not going to play into this. Oh. I'm still not going to play into this. No, we didn't break their hand. Wait, did um, we know they have Lost in the Mist in their deck. Why not create a 2-2? Two, two? Uh, sure. We, we could make one here at the end of the turn, maybe. Well, it's not... No, I don't think it's worth it. We need a third creature before this is good. And we just really can't play into Lost in the Mist. They... Yes, I think Jake Cross is confused about how the this stuff works. I just don't want to... Look, the onus is on them to make a play. I'm not going to deck yet. Dude, Molly, I can't... I try to vote so they would stop sending me the political text, but they won't stop. They never stop. I seriously get like f three or four a day or something. It's just absurd. Trap blade, huh? I'm just gonna keep attacking. That's funny, Wolf Sark. Yeah, this race, unfortunately, the ghoul color spell, like, kind of messes that up. They so clearly have lost in the mist. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Like, they're just gonna bounce the stupid curse of death's hold if we do that. Luis, isn't it better to just play something else that's gonna get countered? This is lost in the mist. You think curse of the bloody tome is the worst? Sure. Yeah, that's fair. All right, let me do this. I want to keep up the two for the Stitcher's Apprentice. I didn't care about it. They've been to think twice. I might just play Trepanation Blade next. The Blankster Bell. Ish. Ish, ish, ish. Um, I'm gonna sack it and then sacrifice a creature. Which can count itself, right? Sacrifice a creature. Alright, well. We juke their dead weight. So that's something. Thank you, G-Jibs. I appreciate that. 63 months. Holy moly. Yeah, did you see the jukes? They were pretty good. They binned a crab and they binned a brain weevil, which looked pretty bad anyway. Okay, so now I think this is the counter unless you pay... I don't think it's dissipate. I think it's counter unless you pay... Um... Counter unless you pay one and then discard a card. So now I think it's time for us to play the things. Maybe it's time for Trep Trepanation Blade. It's that or like the spirit. Yeah, we can lead on spirit. And then it can also let us, we can pick it up if worse comes to worse. 
We have not double cursed somebody yet. We have curse on this person. To be clear, you would also play assistant. Let me go to attacks first. What are we binning when it doesn't work? Claustrophobia? Because it sucks. Oh, they just let it... They just let it do the thing. What are the curses? Uh, this one makes their creatures get minus one, minus one. This one makes them mill a card every... Okay, so they bend a walking corpse and a, their own curse of death's hold. We bend a swamp and they bend a thing twice. We're at 14. They're, we're tied now, but they have the bell. Or I guess we have the curse of the bloody tome. Stromkirk Patrol. Whenever Stromkirk Patrol deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. And also the rat, which just died because of the curse of death hold. So I'm not really sure why they did that. Reach, thank you so much for the 39 months. I appreciate that. Wait, who else did it? That was Reach. Who else resub? Almost over the hill. Oh, it was Muffin. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Uh yeah, I'm kind of liking grasping their Stromkirk patrol and attacking. We're hitting them for one, two, three, four. Alternatively, we could also trep blade and start milling them. The only problem is the Stromkirk patrol does actually block our stuff. Which is where it's kind of annoying. Yes, I'm trying to win with damage, which makes me feel like I should just grasp the Stromkirk. We do have Flyer and Blade. We could go Trepanation Blade and then equip attack and try to kill them. Uh, we can't really make a 5-5 Jade Cross. That's not how that card works. We haven't met the conditions to make one. I think I'm going to Trepanation Blade. Put it on the Lantern Spirit. I don't want to mill with my Dranged Assistant. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Oh, snap. We did it. Look at the cards. Stitch, Drake, Claustrophobia, and Frightful Delusion. Got him. Yep, that was a lot. <laughs> They're down to three. Curse them. They go to eight. Oh, there's a Lost in the Mist. So maybe they don't have Lost in the Mist in hand or they have two Lost in the Mist. I don't know. All right, they got me. I love the look at the cards prompt. It's really funny. Look at the cards. <laughs> oh, that's right. They had no cards in hand. You're right. So we were playing around Lost in the Mist, but I think... They didn't have it? They certainly were playing like they did. They, they, we, they definitely got us for like a bunch of turns where we didn't do anything because we thought they had it. Thank you, Rudger. That was an interesting match. I need to use the restroom real quick. Let me be right back, chat. Let me put this here and let me turn off the Julie cam and I will be right back. Yeah, I mean, we try to play around it. They certainly made us believe it. Let me play a nod. I will burb, burb. Yeah, that matchup seemed really hard for us, Luis. With our squad of all, like, X, like, 1X creatures, a lot of them being 1-1s or 1-2s, and it seemed like they, like, all the stuff that we were good against, they, you know, we had a bunch of crabs and stuff, and they didn't interact with our crabs at all. <laughs> now we're alone, Chad. Hey, Tasty Cactus. What is that emote? Is that, like, the Barracuda from... Oh my god, is that the Barracuda from The Little Mermaid? That's what it looks like to me. But I, I'm probably just like imagining things. Oh, Rutger, are you here? Your deck was really cool. Did You, you didn't have Lost in the Mist at, at any point in your hand, right? I kept playing around it. I was like so convinced that you had it. Yeah, it was a very fun match. Ooh, woo. Look at that hand. Ooh, what's this hand? 
our opponent is almost going to think that we're like an, an aggressive deck given the start. Just land. That's funny, Red Girl. I played so slowly thinking that you had lost in the mist because I'd seen it before. It was like so bad of you. Oh. That did not matter very much. Um, I think it's still better to just play the Diagraph Ghoul. <laughs> But yeah, good luck the rest of the way, Rudger. Your deck was very sweet. We're just playing against mono black. Ooh, woo. Okay. Let's attack this. I mean, it seems like, uh, Camber, it seems like they're the same deck we are. A very slow blue-black controlling deck. So it kind of makes sense that they would want to unsummon my Diagraph Ghoul just to, like, have us take it slower. Armored Scob. So they binned Unbreathing Horde, Deadweight, Walking Corpse, Spectral Flight. So they're probably an invisible stalker deck as well. Hmm. I think having the One Night Scarecrow plus the ability to pick up the One Night... Or the attack with Lantern Spirit plus the ability to pick it back up is pretty good. Because this can't attack into us anyway. So I think we just do this and... Keep up spirit activation. Looks more aggro. Get priest online. We don't have a sack outlet is the only thing, so it's not quite online. Stitch Drake. Oof. I mean, that does get shrunken by the one-eyed scarecrow, so that's something. Forbidden alchemy. We want land, right? I know, Molly, what is, what is it that we're just playing against Mono Yubi? Oh no, Molly, go home, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna alchemy for land, Louise. Molly, no, how could you? Yeah, let's just get the priest going. Did you like War of the Spark? It wasn't a bad set. I think it just gets a bad reputation. It gets a bad rep. <laughs> War apologist. Think twice. Are they going to think again? Yeah, I didn't mind War too much. I, I think it got a bad reputation because of some of the Planeswalkers with static abilities because they were so unfun to play with. See, Mr. Metronome is also a War Apologist. I would like that, Percy. Goob. <laughs> Classic goobs. Land? All right, Land makes it so that we can play Curse of Death's Hold, Nothing Dies, and... We still get to hold up Lantern Spirit activation, so that's something. Try to curse you. It also lets us play on the, like, four spike counter spell. And if I have to bin a crab to it, it's fine. I don't mind. Okay. So... This is kind of awkward. Despite Curse of Death's holding, I can't attack here. Stitch Drake still eats Lantern Spirit. Diagraph Gould can't attack past either of those guys. I guess I could make a 5-5 if I attack with Lantern Spirit. Yeah, I will attack. <laughs> I changed my mind, Luis. I think upgrading is fine. Because we're basically upgrading a 214855. Oh, they have silent departure. Oh, that's too bad. All right, well, we are committed to this line. So let me upgrade ya. Sure. This has got to be Silent Departure flashback, right? It's five. Yep, that looks like it. Meh, this is honestly fine. 
It seems like a J cross. It's just blue black decks all the way down. I want to forbidden alchemy. Seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're close. They're attacking with Stitch Drake. I don't really get it, but sure. Yeah, I think we just attack with both of these, then play both of them, right? Oh, we can't even really attack back. No, nah, that's that's fine. I don't think that's what they're trying to do, way too dumb. They, they just... They can just make that attack because this doesn't attack and this is a 2-2. Two -two, so it just gets blocked by this. And then if I attack with Scourge Dag High Priest, then I can't High Priest anymore. So they're fine if that happens. It's true, Cap. Inishad is not the set for that. Definitely not. We can flashback Forbidden Alchemy next turn. That's kind of cool. Right? Because this gives us a mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or is it 8? Yeah, it's 7. So we can flashback for mid and alchemy and maybe find some action. It's an instant too, so we're not even committed to it. Mm. Do I want to... Play my swamp. Forbidden alchemy is the only thing? No, I'm just going to hold on to it. Oh, it's actually bad if they have the counter slash discard card. So maybe I will just play my swamp and then not do anything else. Yeah, that is the Boros equivalent, I think, in this set, Sam. Agreed. Boo -doo, boo -boo -doo -doo -doo. All right, here we go. I'm going to start by milling because we actually do have cards that we wouldn't mind milling. We have some Grasp of Phantoms that aren't bad. Claustrophobia. We would have wanted that, unfortunately. Boop. Curse of Death's Hold. Curse of the Bloody Tome. Curse of the Bloody Tome is a win condition. It's either we take the second curse and those things become tiny... Curse of Death's Hold basically mean... Yeah, I guess Curse of Death's Hold is another win condition too. Let's just take Curse. I don't anticipate them being able to win if I, we play a second one of these. One, two, three. Oh, they don't know what we take. No, don't we just... Don't we just do this all pre-combat? I think we do this all pre-combat. One, two, three, four. Four. Five. They could counter it. I guess we'll see. There you go. So... So we definitely want to deadweight the stitched drake and... Then we can tap the one eyed Scarecrow plus the Deranged Assistant and the Scourge Dike High Priest to make a 5-5. Five five. And the Diagraph Ghoul and the Fortress Crab can both get in. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Hi, lady! Welcome, how are you? Look at that. I got myself a demon. Not too shabby, Gabby. Hey, Ryan. But they're stuck with X ones in hand. I bet they're stuck with like any amount of anything in hand. All right, so they don't care about blocking anymore since... Doesn't really matter. Like, your creature has to have at least three power and three toughness for it to do anything. It seems really hard to win in this spot. Oh my gosh, it's all silent departures. Whatever. Yeah, we've got two black curses. That is our win condition. It's true, Tank Twister. You're not wrong about that. Return two zombie cards from your graveyard to your hand. They're getting Armored Scob back and the Unbreathing Horde. Once again, doesn't do a whole lot. 
sure. It's still one, two. Let's see what they've been. Tribute to hunger. <laughs> yeah, it's all signed departures. Always has been. <laughs> They've just had so many of them. All right, so here comes the Unbreathing Horde. I don't know how big it's going to be. Oh, they had a makeshift Mauler instead. It's actually like a good size. Oh, no. I'm sorry, lady. That sounds spooky. Hella spooky. So... They have another Silent Departure, right? Yeah, they do. So making a 5-5 five five doesn't look super good right now. Let me mill a card. I was hoping to get one of our flashback cards. We don't have good attacks here. This is really unfortunate. And the Curse of the Bloody Tome is already in the yard, so I don't think we can beat them by milling. Guess we'll see. There's the Horde. Horde's a 2-2. Two -two. I know, can't beat a 2-3 feels bad, man. We have some flyers. We just have to get the flyers. Oh my gosh, Mistborn, please don't apologize for that. Do not apologize for that. I'm glad that you're here. Oh, hello. I think if we grasp the armors, the armored scob, the, it forces them to mill a bunch more cards. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Luis. We were on the same plan. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And uh, yo, tried but true. Thank you for the 17 months. I very Hola, much appreciate Chad. that. Hi, Chad. I have a surprise. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing, Tried But True? Uh, I'm not gonna play my... Oh no, actually, I guess with a bunch of flashback cards, I might as well play my... Yeah, whatever. Let's play my island. It's fine. Hope they don't have Lab Man. Uh, it would die when it ETBs because I have double curse. They're playing it! I like it. They bend a Delver, which would have done nothing, plus two lands. Wait, what's your surprise? I, I just saw that you had a surprise. I didn't see what the surprise was. Uh, I don't know what your surprise is, Tried But True. I just saw that you had a surprise. Let me... I don't think I... I guess I'm still farther ahead than they are, so let me bin one. Another... No. I'm just gonna do it again. I can pay for that with ranged assistant if it comes to it. Okay. It's gone. I'm just gonna play another island. Not even gonna bother attacking. Yeah, that was a cliffhanger, lady. I agree. I was like, wait, but what's the surprise? I must know. I want to know the thing. My opponent loves the armored scob. He's just going to keep playing armored scobs until there's no more scobs left to play. They're just jamming. Oh, snap. They've just been a blood gift demon. Oh, tried but true. Congratulations. So cute. Oh. You love to see it. Hold on. Congratulations, that's so cute. I'm keep bending all lands. All lands all the way down. Play a ranged assistant. Not gonna bother attacking. They, they can't beat me in five cards. I doubt it. I know, it's such a cute baby. Ladman doesn't matter, Percy. They We have double curse of death's hold. That's cool, Great God Ohm. It's a cool card. I know, it's the baby snake. That's Danner Firstborn Son. So cute. Oh, wow. They're coming in. Are they going to be attacking? Yeah, they're going for it. 
Um, okay, I'm just gonna assume that they don't have Dream Twist, and I have a bunch of... I wanna... Nope. Oh, man, that's so unfortunate! Because the Stitcher's Apprentice was what we needed for the Skurs Dag High Priest to do the thing. Well, next turn, I guess we can block with One-Eyed Scarecrow, have it die, and then... We can get a... We can get the... Because um, I don't think we want to forbid an alchemy. Let's look at the top four and then put one of them in your hand the rest into your graveyard. So... Oh, Scarecrow doesn't have reach. Oh, that sucks for me. Okay, well, we can't forbid an alchemy, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So cool, Trident. I'm very happy for you. That is awesome. Thanks for bringing some good news. Good news are definitely needed in this day and age. All right, we'll just take three. Come on. There you go. Okay, so we're at six. They're at two. They're about to die. I don't even think we should block. Yeah, for for sure unseen. I'm not gonna block. It's just, I don't think it's worth it. They they have that silent departure in the yard, so like, I don't know. Nah, CBL doesn't work on MTGO, sadly. I wish it did. Oh, they got a Stitcherino. Doesn't really do that much here. Oh, you love to see that. I don't really want to grasp something. Just because if we grasp something, it's like one less draw step. We, we will use it if we need to. But I don't think we want to do it right now. I think we just chill where, where we're at. We could grasp our own creature. I don't know if we want to do that. That seems like... Unnecessary given that they're at 2 and we're at 5. You would grasp the horde? But why? They have 2 cards left in the deck. I just don't think it's worth it. I'm not going to grasp anything. Okay. Yeah, Tasty. They do have that silent departure. I might actually... Really... I'm actually gonna block. They have one card left. Like, they just have so little time to actually do anything here, you know? I'm gonna leave back the demon in theory to block this. It's not gonna work, obviously. <laughs> That's true, Ryan. <laughs> See, they're on zero cards, so they either have to start grasping their stuff to buy themselves some turns, they're gonna silent departure that thing. Oh, that's a new silent departure, not the old silent departure, is it? No, 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 no. They have double silent departure, I see. Okay. No. It didn't die, ca Cap. When a token gets bounced, it doesn't, like, see morbid. You don't see the, the morbid trigger. Yeah, see? Because it didn't die. It just, like, left the battlefield. So it doesn't work, unfortunately, for us. So what, what did they have? They had... Well, 
Would ghoul colors bell work against them? Yeah, maybe. Guys, catcher's rig seems strong. Ghost quarter didn't do anything. Corpse lunch didn't seem good. Grimace doesn't seem good. Curse of Oblivion doesn't seem good. Bell grasp is a thing, funny enough. Don't think we went Invisible Stalker. Don't think we went Curiosity. Basically, was there any card that was like really bad against them? That's only we wanted to board into Invisible Stalker Trepanation Blade. But we're a control deck. Like, in the previous matchup, we boarded into that because our uh, the other deck was better at doing the thing that we were doing. We're just a slow deck. Uh, I don't think we want to trade the Fortress Crabs. They're all on, like, makeshift maulers and stuff. Honestly, Forbidden Alchemy has seemed not good, Molly. I think we don't need two. Maybe we can just board in the tre Trepanation Blade, just like that. Curse can actually eat away at their grasps eventually. Yeah. Curse of Oblivion to task tax their graveyard. They did have a lot of... Yeah, you know what? Actually, maybe that's better than the Brain Weevil. They did have a lot of flashback stuff. So I, I could see Curse of Oblivion actually not being too bad. What about Bell? I don't like Bell that much. They had a lot of, like, graveyard milling, so I think I'd rather just mill them at our own pace and then Curse of Oblivion to make sure they don't have that much left in there. Rather than just, like, getting the bell at the beginning and starting to jam. But it's felt like Forbidden Alchemy is just, like, milling, like, it's decking me. We've had multiple times that we haven't wanted to cast, um... The, um, the Forbidden Alchemy. This looks not bad. It's a good hand. Keep. Yeah, Brain Weevil's really not good. It's just, I mean, we honestly are just playing it because we were short playables. There's not, no other reason. <laughs> the lesser of two Weevils, huh? So we're probably just playing the crab next turn. Or I guess it depends on what they play. We might want to go deadweight something. Really? Okay. Well, now we're just going to play the scarecrow. Um... Did Victim like kill any other creatures? I don't know. Actually, we never drew it, so I didn't pay attention to it. I kind of forgot about it. Oh, it would kill their Blood Gift Demon. Yes, they did have that. I think Alchemy's good in a deck that both... Well, Great God Ohm, I, had, I have two Alchemies. What I'm saying is I'm taking one out because both of them were not doing so good, you know? I kind of... They're not doing anything. I kind of want to play Curse of Oblivion. It's probably better just to play Fortress Crab. There's no way they're going to bounce the Fortress Crab on my turn. And they might have a second thing in the yard for us to start cursing them. Oh, white. Ooh, woo. That is news to me. Yeah, it must be for a disenchant. Maybe they did just board into it. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep playing crabs. Crab, people, crab. Yeah, it must be like urgent exorcism and flashback or something. Nada. Yeah, I don't really want to play Curse of Death's Hold while this is going on. What do we do? 
We could just play Curse of Oblivion and if they have Urgent Exorcism. I guess it's kind of nice to juke it in the in the yard if they if they try to disenchant something else and then we curse. Although I guess I could just kill it with a curse right there. They're also not doing anything, so maybe I'm just gonna play Deranged Assistant and hold up Victim of the Night. Like they're doing so little, right? Oh, it does in Time Twister. Disciple of Grizzlebeezy. Still just holding up five every time. What what is their hand? This is bizarre. I might just deadweight that disciple and then play Stitcher's Apprentice and keep attacking. I don't know. Just Don't really want to play any of my big stuff. Could be five minute counter, bounce a permanent. They sacked it. I'm just not gonna play my stuff. I just keep attacking with these three. I don't know. The, the, the onus is kind of on them to do anything, you know? Yeah, Disciple of Grizzlebrand. It's tasty snack, apparently. Mm. Yes, Luis, we have the most anemic win conditions possible. Maybe I should have held up the Stitcher's Apprentice to play around removal. There's just not one. If they're not doing anything, I just don't have to do anything, though. Uh, yeah, we'll probably want to kill that thing. This is at the beginning of your upkeep, so let me try to victim you. Get him. Okay. They're dead in three turns if we hit with everybody. <laughs> so... I think at this point we can play the Curse of Oblivion. Like, I think it's fine. And we can leave the Stitcher's Apprentice back. I think we should do that in case we want to sack the Scarecrow and upgrade it. Let me upgrade ya. I'll hold on to that land. They are not removing it. All right, so they took away a silent departure. Oh, they left the blood gift demon. I bet they kept um, um, burial rites. Otherwise, there's no reason to leave that in the yard and not the flashback spell. Yeah, good thing I did that. Use this. Sack the same thing. Oh, they do have Scob. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They do have that. Oh, they have a different Silent Departure. Okay, so they killed my thingy. That's fine. Um, I think we're just attacking with everybody. Is it time to run at the Curse of Death's Hold? <laughs> like, I don't know. It doesn't do anything in our hand. It's certainly not doing anything against them. <laughs> There's just no point. There's really no point. Alright, so they'll either keep the Silent Departure there or they might keep the Blood Gift Demon in case they want to try to play one of their scobs. Yep, there it is. So, this ate two silent departures. Not bad. Whoa. If a zombie you would control would deal damage to a player, instead that player mills that many cards. 
If a zombie you control will deal damage to a player instead the player mills that many cards. Whenever a creature you whenever a creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard from their library, exile that card and create a two block zombie. Okay, well we're gonna kill the unbreathing horde, by the way, because we have the curse. Oh, hello. Into an opponent's graveyard from their library. So that actually means that we can't mill with a deranged assistant. That's really funny. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'd rather kill this thing pre-combat. I think that's better for me. Hey, Firefly, welcome. Sure. Okay, and I can't play the Battleground guys. So I'm gonna hold on to it in case they have like a discard one card effect. I'm not really sure if there's something like that in the set. So they can get rid of the Undead Alchemist and they're probably just gonna keep... Okay, so they kept the Alchemist. Let's see what else their follow-up is. Not great, but the Fortress Crab can attack into this easily and then we can play a Battleground guys also. Oh, hello. Yeah, you like that. The only discard one in the set is Lily. Okay. I guess we're technically playing around Lily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of feel like it might be more legit to play Trepanation Blade and Equip over Battleground guys here, which is weird, but I... There's a chance that they have to take a gamble on it. Oh, no! They had Lost in the Mist! Oh, no! And they... Wow. All right, they kind of got us good. What did they choose for their permanent? Oh, they bounced my crab. Funny. Now I can just play Battleground Geist. Kind of feel like maybe they should have bounced my Curse of Death's Hold. I don't know. Yeah, that one way too dumb. The three mana counter unless you pay one discard one. The one with the eyes, the creepy eyes. Hey, Synth! Welcome! Oh, snap. Whenever another human you control dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, but it's just gonna be a 1-1. One, one. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so they are forced to jump my Stitch Drake. Oh, fun. So I can attack with both. It really is. Yeah, Frightful Delusion, that's what it's called. Thank you, thank you. Down a two, play one of these, and play one of these. Honestly, the Curse of Oblivion was a good board in. It was much better than whatever we took out for it. It was just like a one one. Oh, the, we took out the Brain Weevil. Oh, isn't just a control? Whenever another human creature dies, weird. But they they conceded. <laughs> <laughs> Our deck is so crappy, but we are 2-0 right now. Amazing. To be fair, it's like, you don't really need that much good stuff to win with Curse of Death's Hold. That's what's actually happening here. Any Among Us tonight? Not tonight, Ren. I think I'm going to Among Us tomorrow and Friday. That's my plan. Vintage Cube is coming out this week, so I'm probably playing some magic while Vintage Cube is out. A little less Among Us, a little more magic. Can I see your deck? Yeah, of course, BK. Here, let me show you. It's not... It's got some loose ones, but it also has double Curse of Death's Hold and Curse of the Bloody Tome. I did, Dokomo. I was complaining about it on Twitter earlier. I was really sad to see that. Also, we're, al we're also not getting um, Vintage Cube during December. We're getting it on December 30th, so basically at the beginning of next year, which is... Your deck is good. I think most creature decks can't beat you. I have played against Yubi twice, and I feel like my matchup against Yubi is not amazing. 
<laughs> Am I contractually obligated to pick Ambush Viper when I see it? I think so far, every time we've seen Ambush Viper, I've taken it, except for this draft where I was black blue. But every other draft, we we had a pretty sweet werewolf deck. Um, it was like a werewolf travel preparations deck that had Ambush Viper in it, which was really nice because you could actually just pass the turn and have Ambush Viper to play, but then your werewolves would flip. All right, Lumi, let's do this. Eh. Hand's a little slow, but it's a keep. Oof, we're playing against red this time. Eee. Not a good draw. BK, it was so cool. We actually used an Ambush Viper to take down, like, an Elder of Laurels or something, like, actually good, you know? Alias! Thank you so much for the raid, hon! I really appreciate that. Welcome on in, everybody. Oh my gosh, we're getting cat raided. Look at that. Thank you, Alias. I really appreciate the host. I will take good care of your community. We're just playing some Innistrad flashback draft. I will take some cats on a great stream. That all sounds awesome. Um... Mm. We definitely want to play the, the Fortress Crab. I don't know if we want a Claustrophobia here. I just want to slow down the beats. Probably fine. Let me Phobia these guys. Crab is better against that. You'd Phobia? Yeah, I just kind of want to not die, right? That's really funny, Penguin. Also in the mornings, I'm sure, right? Yeah, I wouldn't want that, BK. You're right. It's a good plan. Burbs? Uh, I will want to grasp that thing next turn. Let me just get the carbs going. I need... I need some action. I need something. Just... I think the only card I've drawn this game is... I don't actually think I've drawn a spell this game. Forbidden Alchemy. Um, 13, and they're passing with 5. Could be lost in the mist. I mean, we certainly could just pass with Forbidden Alchemy and then try to find something good for us to do the following turn. Plays around the counterspell and us losing the crab. If we grasp a phantoms and they just lost in the mist, we lose this and we lose that. That sounds really bad, so let me just pass here with Forbidden Alchemy. You'd really grasp the three to Luis. Can't play around lost. If they have lost, I'm gonna lose on the spot. Well, Sam, the last two people we played, we knew they had lost in the mist. It's not that we're putting them on it. Okay, that's fair enough, Luis. Let me try that. It does make my next turn better. Sure. Okay, they don't have attacks. Curse of Death's hold! Hmm. I am down to just trade if it comes to it, so let me just go like that. Yeah, Molly, I think it's more about the fact that our last two opponents, they both had lost in the mist. Because we milled it, we saw it, and then a multiple points, it seemed like they could have it. Don't kill the battleground, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. So in two turns, we can grasp. Oh, no. They're, they're grasping me, too. No, bueno. I think I'm supposed to just replay it. This is A, and they're not close to replaying it, so. Next turn, we can either grasp the Moon Heron or Forbidden Alchemy. I guess it depends on what we draw. Stormcrusher! Thank you for the 18! I appreciate that. Mmm. 
Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to grasp the Stitch Drake. One Night Scarecrow is not bad either. Hey, Stormcrusher and Essie Townsend! Thank you so much for the 12. Thank you so much for the 18. Welcome back, friends. It is lovely to have you. Um, yeah, I think we just have to grasp this boy. And then next turn we can play Forbidden Alchemy and One-Eyed Scarecrow. They have a lot of flyers. The Scarecrow has been good against them, but they are kind of getting in there with a bunch of stuffs. Can they play anything? Back from the brink. Exile a creature card from your graveyard and pay its mana cost. Create a token that's a copy of that card. Active this ability only the time you'd cast the sorcery. Okay, so let's lead on Forbidden Alchemy. One, two, three. Let's get something good. Curse of Death's Hold. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. Whew! All right, we were sweating it, but we found the curse. Don't worry, we, we, we Gucci. So... This doesn't matter because if it comes back as the same CMC or as the same power and toughness, it still just dies. So let me go curse you. And they're in a turn where they couldn't bring back the lantern spirit, which is so sick. We can actually attack. I mean, I guess I don't really know what haste creatures there are. I guess it could go badly for us. So this is going to be, uh, yeah, Stitch Drake trying to make a comeback. We can play One-Eyed Scarecrow to make it a 1-3. Could also flashback Forbidden Alchemy to try to find something else. It's 8 to flashback, so that's 5, 6, 7, 8. So yeah, we could do that. We take 2. Oh, is it 7 to flashback? I thought it was 8. Oh yeah, it's 7 to flashback. Um, so we still don't have enough to play the One-Eyed Scarecrow 2, but I do think we should flashback because it just seems much stronger than the other place we've got. Let's just see what we got. Uh, I guess I should have passed, technically. Oh! Guys Catcher's Rig! Yes! Guys Catcher's Rig sounds hot. We just kill the Stitcher's Drake next turn. And it's gonna come back. But then we also have the One-Eyed Scarecrow. And it's like really slow for them to bring this whole thing back. Is that better than just locking up the Stitch Drake with a dead weight and then it's just gonna be a 1-3 and it can't attack at all? Hmm. Oh, that's right. They can just block Crab and then eventually it comes back anyway. Yeah, no, you're right. Dice Catcher's Rig's better. All right, so we'll do that. Um, I'll leave the Swamp. If they have the three mana counter, would I rather I discard a card? Yeah, I'd rather they counter my Diagraph Ghoul and I bin the Swamp than having to bin either of these. Let me just play this and hold on to the Swamp. Okay, they didn't have anything anyway. So we're going to go to six. Oof. I got a lot of flying action. We've got more crabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is as an additional cost to cast a spell exit a creature card from your graveyard flying. So they are going to bring that back. Then they can exile the like lantern spirit, I suppose. I still think I want to kill that. Definitely use the ability. Play this. Play one night scarecrow. Shrink that a little bit more. Let's try to kill them with our idiots. They don't have to do that with uh, Back from the Brink. Yeah, but I think they will, Tasty, because it's another flying attacker. 
Yeah, a second curse would help us kind of seal this up. See? They're definitely going to do it. Come on. Second curse of death's hold. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. We need it. Please. Hmm. Okay. Accept. Come on. And we have nothing else, huh? They are going to kill us in a few turns. I guess we start attacking with everything. God, it'd be such gas if we got another Curse of Death's Hold there. That would have been amazing. All right, we need a Curse of Death's Hold or... <sighs> Grasp of Phantoms wouldn't be bad. Battleground Geist, I think, already died. Yeah. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to enchanted player, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. Holy moly, that's really bad for us. Ah! Ah! Oh no. Oh no. You hate to see it. Wow, now we're just dead. That's too bad. Daubers. We needed the second curse last turn. So they have mono flyers, right? <laughs> Curses. Agreed. Um, Did they have much stuff with the graveyard? They had the back from the brink. I guess if we're playing... Curse of the Bloody Tome. We could also play Curse of Oblivion. They had a bunch of cards that required them to exile a card from the graveyard. So like them having no graveyard seems like it could be good. It seems like it could be better than Curse of Oblivion. I could also see Spectral Flight just to make our crabs fly. Um, and what else? Spectral Flight is okay against them, EOT, EOS. I don't think it's, like, especially good. They have a lot of flyers, but we don't have that great of a target to put the Spectral Flight on, you know? I can take out a Forbidden Alchemy. I, I'm not even sure we should be playing two. Ooh, my ballot has been accepted! My vote counts! Your ballot has been accepted for counting. You love to see it. That is exciting. Cut some crabs. Oh, the crabs are fine. They they were playing some small creatures like the the dogs and the Ashmouth Hound and stuff where the crabs are like decent against them. The crab is also a good one to put Spectral Flight on because it'll almost certainly be able to eat slash um, battle against anything. Oh, this hand's pretty good. Both colors of mana, deranged assistant to ramp, diagraph ghoul to block early stuff, and even fortress crab to block their stuff. This hand is kind of everything we could ask for. Okay. Drawing a land was not bad. We need to draw a swamp, though. Ashmouth Hound doesn't do that much. Ooh, there you go. So let me mill one. No! Not my Curse of Death Hold! Ah. Uh, stupid. We, br we bend a Curse of Death Hold. I actually... Do I might no 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 I don't want to attack here because I'm gonna curse a dust hold their Ashmouth Hound and then they won't have Ashmouth Hound anymore. I know feels bad man time twister. Okay, I don't know what they're doing, but I do want to play my curse of dust hold. I hope it's not a counter, please, please, please. Please don't be counter and discard one. Don't do it. Don't, don't. 
It's just so good if it works, you know? Oh, that's f whatever. <laughs> oh my god, Deca. <laughs> hmm. Hair and I'm not too worried about. I think binning stuff is fine this early in the game. Whatever, we can play this. There's no way they trade these with these. How Tilted is appointed at second cursed. I don't know. I mean, Curse of Death holds a pretty stupid card, so I guess if I saw my opponent had two, I'd be like, this is just so stupid. Flashing back, think twice, I accept. Hmm. Let me start with this. Two, three. Let's see what they got. Claustrophobia, Skurzdag, High Priest, Ranged Assistant. I could play Curse of Oblivion and start, like, binning or exiling their yard also. I guess Claustrophobia is the best card out of these. We're so far ahead, we should just bin attack with everybody. Sure, I mean, when, once they're on the trade your moon heron for Diagraph Ghoul plan, we're, we're doing pretty okay, I think. They play something big here, we can Claustrophobia it. If not, we can go Curse of Oblivion and they won't have any yard to play their big stuff. Into the Maw of Hell against my Black Source and my Geist. Sure, whatever. Not actually a big deal. That's true, Fad Poopy. You're right about that. All right, so we got into the Maw. So they kept a Nash Mouth Hound. So unless they play their big flyer here, they won't be able to play any of the zombies that require you to exile something next turn because they're just not going to have anything. Forbidden Alchemy is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So not quite. If that's the case, we should just attack with these two. Play a Stitcher's Apprentice and pass. They're dead next turn. We're presenting lethal. Got him. It's really good beer. Casting Elishnor is a very satisfying experience, you know? I wonder if we should just go for the kill here. We can claustrophobia the... Yeah, we should just do it. Yep. Okay, okay, so... We played against... Uh, did we see anything new this time? Just still some flyers and stuff. I like how we boarded. We took out one of those Forbidden Alchemies. That seemed good. Don't think Corpse Lunge looks like especially good. Because this is equal to power and all we have is like if it were CMC and these were like deal damage for four, that'd be sweet. But we just have these one sixes. Non-zero chance we do want Trepanation Blade. The question is, what do we take out for it? The Deranged Assistants are quite good. I don't think it's the Lantern Spirit. I don't think it's either Crab or Grasp. Those are pretty good for us. I think we just send it back in. The only thing we could see is like the Curse of Oblivion, but we kind of lock them out of the game with the Curse of Oblivion. I like the Ghoul. I actually really like the Ghoul Poopy because they have a faster start than we do. And if we ever have the Ghoul, it's just like an early creature that can block. So I would not cut that one. Yeah, I'm just going to run it back, Tasty. I'm just in to, to stick to this. You think Ply or Curse of Oblivion? Trap Blade, not both. Yeah, I think I'd rather play Curse. Curse seems good against the stuff we saw. 
They had multiple things that went to the yard for flashback. They had multiple cards that needed a card, a, a creature card in the yard to cast as an additional cost. And they had back from the brink. Nice, nice. All right, this looks fine. We can start with double swamp so that we can cast victim early. Not bad, not a bad draw. But then we'll want to play this too. I think if I were them, I would try to kill Ash or board out Ashmouth Hound if they could. They, they saw we have double Curse of Death's Hold, you know? I'm going to take the hit from this thing. And then see what they play. And if not, I'll just Victim of the Night. And Ooh, second one. Oh, that's why they have it, Louise. They just have so many of them. Let me kill one of them. No! Lantern Spirit can't even block against this. I guess it could block, and then when it takes the one damage, you could bounce it back to your hand. It's so crappy, though. Can I just draw Curse of Death's Hold? Wee. Did not mean to do that. Mm. Honestly, I think we should just not... This flashes back for seven. We should just not die to the Ashmouth Hounds. So... Really crappy, but this is what we're doing. Like, even if we trade a Battleground guys for one of their Ashmouth Hounds, I think that's also okay. I think it's better to kill the token. That way they don't have a creature in the yard, or they have less creatures in the yard. Ouch. Trades. Come on! Curse of Death's Hold! No! Why not Curse of Death's Hold? Chad, I think we're going to lose just because we didn't draw the Curse of Death's Hold. I am trading here. I just don't want them to flash back the Cackling counterpart. I don't want them to have anything. Oh my god, that card is really good. No! Not now! Ah! Pfft. Awful, 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 awful. So bad. We're so dead. That was terrible. Yep. Sounds legit. This just goes infinite. Or if we had drawn the Curse of Oblivion to bin from the graveyard, but nah, yeah, we're just dead. Even another Curse of Death's Hold doesn't get us out of this. One, two, three. There's the Curse of Oblivion. We're dead. Oh, man. This draw didn't work out. I think if we had a Curse of Death's Hold, we would have still lost, though. Because we just had no way of dealing with our... It, there's a chance we would have taken more damage and then we would have had Victim of the Night to kill the devils later on. But I think it was going to be hard no matter what. Yeah, we also just kind of flooded out that last one. Yeah, they can get Cackling every turn back as long as they don't exile it. It's a pretty cool loop. All right, well, we went 2-1 with it. Our deck, considering our deck, I think 2-1's pretty good. Our deck was kind of loose. <laughs> um, let me wrap up this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another Innistrad draft. This set's super fun. It's up until Wednesday, so there's not that much time left to play it. But if you see this video in time, maybe you get a chance to play it. Um, if you've never, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you did. It lets me know that you would like to see more videos and it also helps the channel out. So it's a totally free thing that you can do to support the stream. Also, if you're shopping on channelfireball.com, you can use the code Gabby, G-A-B-Y, to also directly support the stream. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.